I want to talk about the comeback. And we've seen a lot in politics throughout American history. First and foremost, perhaps, maybe the greatest, Harry Truman, down in the polls, trying to fill his FDR's shoes and navigate the aftermath of a world war, thought to have little chance of winning the election in 1948, stuns. President Harry S. Truman becomes president. He takes office in a crisis of history when world war must be followed by an organization for world peace. And he went on his whistle-stop tour, and he ended up winning an election, stunning everybody. And you may have forgotten about Richard Nixon, who rose from the political graveyard. The year 1962, after losing the governor's race to Pat Brown in California, bitterly proclaimed, I am done with politics. But as I leave you, uh, I want you to know, <laughs> just think how much you're going to be missing. You don't have Nixon to kick around anymore. Yeah, well, he came back, and he won the White House in 68 and 72. This will be an open administration, open to new ideas, open to men and women of both parties. Well, uh, we know how that ended, but, man, he was a great story for a while. There is no denying, though, there were great comebacks. They were unexpected. But we might just be witnessing the greatest of all. Yes. It's the same man that pulled off the biggest upset in political history back in 2016, Donald J. Trump. Look. I know there's a lot of runway left, eight full months to go into the election. But here on One Nation, we are able to take a step back and take a deep breath and give credit where credit's due from what we've seen so far. It's easy to get caught up in the commotion, the chaos, the court cases. But think about the way Trump left the White House in 2020, impeached. Back in 22, 2022, after the midterm elections, many of his candidates, you may remember, flamed out. It seemed like the former president was damaged goods. See, in race after race, House and Senate both, candidate after candidate associated with Donald Trump did either worse than expected or lost. But despite the midterm neutralized red wave, he announced he was running again, and he has not looked back since. It's easy to get caught up in the sheer velocity of negative news stories, especially the court cases that never seem to end. It was a tense day in court for former President Donald Trump, who took the stand in a $250 million civil trial that threatens his business empire in New York. It's hard to keep all of these straight, but as these civil and criminal trials churn forward, Donald Trump's prosecutor in Georgia found herself on the witness stand. Yep, but somehow, against all the odds, here we are. Donald Trump taking another victory lap, the former president celebrating his second win in just over a week. It's looking like we'll see another Trump-Biden rematch in November as voters here in South Carolina deliver another setback to Nikki Haley. Former President Trump moved one step closer to clinching the Republican nomination. And straight ahead is Super Tuesday. I know I sound like a sports announcer, talking about a team or a player or the run of a lifetime, like Michael Jordan coming back to win three championships in a row after leaving the game of basketball altogether. Have won their sixth NBA championship, and it's their second three-peat. But it's time someone acknowledges this comeback because you cannot deny what is happening before our eyes. And part of the reason the comeback is happening is because the things Trump stands for are exactly what the things Americans can no longer stand to witness, like a wide open border. Walls work. Walls and wheels, I always said. It's one thing never gets obsolete, a wall and a wheel. Everything else is obsolete about two weeks after you come up with it. Yeah. Criminals running rampant across our cities, some of which came here through the broken border. The 22-year-old nursing student was found dead near Lake Herrick at the University of Georgia. Friday, police arrested 26-year-old Jose Antonio Ibarra from Venezuela for Riley's murder. And now I think everybody, Democrats, independents, and Republicans, all want that border back. This all making our stance on the world stage look even weaker than ever before. Think about what's happening overseas. My sports announcer self would say there's a lot of game left to play here, and there is, and a lot of unexpected things around the corner. I get it. And like I said, it's easy to get caught up in the daily drama, the trials, the flamboyant personality. But the truth is, we are witnessing a man, even through immense adversity, well on his way to locking up a GOP nomination and leading President Biden in almost every single battleground state. What we are witnessing is unprecedented. It is historic. In many ways, he's already pulled off a hell of a comeback. 
So buckle up, and we'll see if he can finish the job. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.